Okay, dear friends, uh, I was asked to say some words of encouragement to parents of sons who are serving in the IDF, and far be it from me, you don't need my encouragement because uh, you have the whole back of the Jewish people behind you, encouraging you like wind at the back. Wonderful that you brought your sons to such a situation, and they themselves are our courageous fighters in this very noble war. Uh, you're probably aware of the fact there's a lot of humor about parents bragging about their children, my son the doctor, my son the lawyer, uh, and the bragging really is about an achievement which could be totally void of any character. Uh, my son the doctor, he could be a miserable person, my son the lawyer, and he could be uh, a distant husband and a uh, abysmal person. And, and someone were to say, one, mo mother, one mother says, my son the doctor, another mother says, my son the lawyer, and then another lady says, my son volunteers in a hospital. And people would look at her like, she's a neb, the poor woman, that's her son. That would not be applicable when it comes to my son who's serving in the IDF. Nothing could be more noble, nothing could have our greater pride than this situation. I would add to this that Michael Freund, who is a journalist, a very good one in my opinion, uh, always has something worthwhile to say. He wrote after Tsuke Tan, which was in 2014, a very significant incursion of Israeli army into Gaza in the summer of 2014. They were there for 50, 51 days. And he said when his son came home and he just threw off his clothing somewhere in the living room and went to take a shower, he could not resist going over and smelling the uniform that was dirty with the soil and the dirt of Aza, thinking how holy this was, the smell and the odor of, of a uniform that had been used so appropriately on behalf of our people. I give you my greatest congratulations and encouragement. Chizku v'imsu.